Hey everyone, this is Tom from Adventures at Home. So today I'm going to be trying out a couple of Japanese beetle traps. Actually, it's one. I bought two of them. We've been trying to grow this grapevine for the past three years. Every year, uh, never fails, the Japanese beetles attack it and just eat up the leaves. And let me show you what it looks like right now. Okay, so here's our little trellis. It's basically just a cow panel, a 16 foot cow panel bent over and I've got some T-posts in each corner, so four T-posts. And let me get a little closer so you can see the damage that they're doing to this. So you kind of see the leaves are just getting all eaten up. So they, they really uh, have been causing a lot of damage here. Okay, so these are the Japanese beetle traps. I bought two of these. They're both the same. So it's called Bag a Bug Japanese Beetle Trap by Spectricide. Uh, it says it traps over a 5,000 square foot area. And from what I'm hearing from my wife, she's watched some videos on these. You can't have these too close because they'll end up attracting. Uh, additional Japanese beetles so what I'm going to do is uh, set these up and see how they work okay I believe this is what it should look like once you've got it together there's the bait kind of stuck in these two slots okay one more thing uh, they give you this this wire hanger so there's two holes here you can see you just kind of Slip this about three inches of it into the two holes, twist it together. Okay, so here's <clears throat> here's the grapevine. And you can see about 30 feet away. So they say 30 feet downstream of the foliage, which this is the foliage, you're supposed to have the trap. This is a little more than 30. This is maybe 35 feet away. And you can see the Japanese beetles are going for this trap. So I've had this up here maybe 10 minutes and it's already working. So yeah, you can see. You can see we've got some in there. You can see right through the plastic. So it's working. This is, uh, they must really be attracted to this smell. Okay, it's been almost two hours since I put this uh, Japanese beetle trap. Looks like it's working pretty good. Let me show you what we have inside the, the bag now. Okay, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Now looking at it this way, I mean, they're about up to here. I mean, it, it's about up to about up to here about an inch so the directions on the bag say that the beetles typically fly from 10 30 a.m. to 3 30 p.m. and now it is 10 after 4 uh, p.m. Uh, I'll probably take this in overnight probably keep it in their barn because the raccoons get everything at night hey everyone so it's been about three days i've been checking these traps every day and it seems like they're not working so great anymore they're supposed to last six months but uh, i don't know if it's because i have so many dead beetles in there uh, that they're not working so good so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to empty out the traps see what i've caught so far you can see over there is the one trap that i have so that's hanging behind the barn. I have a little lean-to back here behind the barn. So that's about maybe 30 feet away from the grapevine. And the other trap, let me show you that. <clears throat> let me just pan back over here. So you can see the other trap way back there. And that trap was doing better. And that one probably is more downwind. Okay, so I'm going to take this trap down and empty out the contents. Okay, here's the contents of the first bag. Okay, so here is the contents of the second bag. This is the bag that was downstream. I'm going to replace the bag 
on each of these traps and hang them up and see how they do the next few days okay so it's another day I'm not sure how many days we've had these traps out here so um, I just wanted to show you guys how these traps are working okay you can see there's quite a few beetles hanging around here just flying right around the trap And they were more active a little bit ago, but you can see quite a few of them just kind of hanging out right on the top of the trap here. I'm probably about 30, probably more like 40, 50 feet away from the grapevine that we're trying to protect. So there it is. So here's the other trap. I mean, these, these beetles are just so active today. Not sure if you can see them just flying around here. I believe this is the third day since I emptied the traps. So I'm getting ready to set the traps up again, but I wanted to show you how full they are. I keep the traps in the barn at night uh, because if I don't, the raccoons will get them and destroy them so here's the one trap you can see I mean I could just barely get my hand around this <clears throat> so here's the other one and this this is even more I mean this is really full I mean again the traps are working very well but the problem is we have so many of these Japanese beetles. Okay, so the traps are working. The problem is we have too many Japanese beetles. So I'm coming up with a plan B. Um, I've been watching some other videos on what other people do. I came up with an idea of my own. Uh, if you watched one of my videos from last year, we had a big problem with uh, yellow jackets uh, and um, the bald face hornets so we had a huge bald face hornet nest in our old light pole uh, right right where the light is I mean it was right under that and uh, I set up our shop vac to vacuum those out so I want to do something similar to that uh, I'll take a combination of the the spectricide I think it's spectricide the spectricide trap and the vacuum cleaner so i'll use the spectricide bait to lure the uh, japanese beetles in and then vacuum them out with the with the shop bag so i'll be working on that see how that works um the grapevine is still surviving um hopefully it'll survive this i think these uh, beetles last for six weeks so We've got to be getting close to the end here. So anyway, I'll be doing another video on this uh, this, this new trap uh, with the shop vac. See how that works. So hey everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like the content and have a great day.